Alright, yeah, so yeah, we yeah. have... Okay, good. So we have three settings here for lengths, which is 2 foot, 5 foot, and 7 foot. And then we also have a stop button that can stop it at any time and resets the optical encoder value to zero. So if you wound two feet and let's say you cut it if it was a real life scenario, then you would hit the stop button to reset the encoder and then you would press five feet and it would restart and then wind up five feet of strain. Okay. And then the rewind button just simply unwinds it until you hit the stop button. Which and you put the rewind in there just for ease of testing for this yes. project. Yeah, it wasn't required. Okay. Alright, let's get it back here. Oh, let's put a piece of tape on this just so we can see. Alright. Okay, right, let's, let's. What are you going to call? I think I did two feet. Okay. Um, I can't remember. I bumped one of the two switches. So okay, well, I guess we'll find out. We're find coming out. up on two feet right now. So you didn't press that button. Coming up on three. Four. So about five. Oh, five. Yeah, I, a little over five. Okay. Do you, um press the two foot button once. So that's about one. And maybe about mm, two to three inches over, but pretty close. And then you want to do seven feet? Um, yeah, let's rewind it once. Let's watch okay. you rewind it. Just keep some constant tension on because sometimes it gets tangled around. Kind of winding that like a kite string thing or a kite thing. Okay. Right. I know that it's marked, so I'll try and get that right over there. Here we at it? Okay. So, about seven feet. Here we go. Okay. So, one. Two. Seven, a little, just a little over. Pretty, pretty good. And I heard your conversation. Yeah, if this were real, I mean, yeah, you'd have to consider the fact that the string would keep bunching up on there, so you'd have to deal with that because that would change the amount it reeled in per revolution. Different type of string would probably be better. Mm -hmm. 